Hey guys, I kept the duck and this is my tour for this video tutorial, part 7. Um, in the last episode we actually started stuff make, making stuff with stone. Um, today I'm starting to move the, the carpenter shop inside so you'll be safe while the carpet the carpenter will be safe and you make stuff. I've built four carpet shops here and they're still busy on building that. Now I've done that, I can actually remove the outer one. This one is useless now, so I'm removing it. Same with this wood stockpile. I want all my wood to be stored inside, so I'm removing the stockpile under this with the X button again. VX, remove the stockpile. Same with the furniture stockpile over here. And everything will be moved inside later. Uh, once I get my torch chance to do that. Um, first, while we're going on. Let's do the next step, and that's brewing drinks, because dwarves need drinks to get through the working day. Ask Mario. Going to the units list, pressing his view, and receiving prefer his preferences. Mario, she needs alcohol to get through the working day. Yeah, Mario, Mario is apparently a woman, but... Well, she needs alcohol. But we are we to actually uh, take it from her. We need to make some, to build some... Uh, brew some more alcohol before uh, the supply to quit is gone. Uh, we do that by building a still, still or a brewery, it's a still in this case. Uh, build it by B, W and then L for still. And I'm going to build two stills over here from dolomite because I got a lot of dolomite. Well, since uh, I think Cloud Strife was actually the brewer of the fortress. He should come along soon and build these uh, uh, these breweries. Come on, Cloud. Well, you come in a moment. <laughs> Let's pause the video for in between when he comes. All right, uh, the brewer still hasn't shown up yet, but I uh, know the cause. Or here he comes. It's actually in Lara Croft. Um, also, while I'm at it, let me tell some uh, bit about the yes, about the uh, labors any dwarf can do. If you select a dwarf from this menu, uh, so here there is Lara Croft. Press C on her. Uh, you'll get this options menu. It's probably standing on this. But if you could press P, it'll go to the preferences. If you then press L for labor. Uh, you get a list of all these dwarves, uh, all the labors this dwarf can do. You can scroll to it with star and slash. Uh, so, this is the dwarf we started off with, with farming fields and brewing. That's a lot of craft. Also, she has instantly has dish jobs, stone hauling, wood hauling, item hauling, burial, and a lot of stuff. And sometimes they, they do that before they drop the jobs you really want. And since uh, Lara Croft is a farmer, and I really want her to farm stuff and to brew drinks, uh, I'm going to take away this labor, so she won't haul stone anymore, she won't haul wood anymore. Same with item hauling, burial, uh, food hauling. I'll keep refuse hauling in there to be sure that my fortress is pretty clean. And cleaning is cleaning up blood if there's any in the, in the fortress. Uh, well, she can do that too. Well, this should be fine. Now she won't haul any stone anymore or any furniture, uh, so installing all beds will be a bit slower. But she'll uh, concentrate on farming a whole lot more and on brewing drinks. And hey, my still is ready. Now just press Q, press A, and B to brew a drink. And she'll brew one drink, she'll get one uh, plump helmet and brew some dwarven vine from that. We want more. Actually, we want her to doing this uh, all the time, so we can repeat the task. Uh, when you're in the list here, you can press R for repeat, and little R appears, and she'll do this forever until something comes along and cancels it. Um, one thing to brew drinks, you uh, need to have something to actually put the drinks in, and those are the barrels I was talking about earlier uh, in the previous videos. To be sure, let's make some more barrels to brew. You can only make bar barrels from wood from the carbon shop. And I'm making 10 more barrels. Make that, you know, 
we'll make that 20 more medals. Now we'll keep the tall carpet and dwarf busy for a while. And let's place another furniture sh uh, storage here, to be sure. Um, another thing you might notice is with this furniture stockyard, there's, there's still a lot of stone on this furniture stockpile. And wherever there's stone on this on the tile, uh, the dwarves can't place any furniture, so I want to get rid of the stones. But normally the dwarves won't do that unless you build a big stone stockpile, and then it could take ages for all the dwarves to move all the stones. So I want to remove only some of these stones, the one I select. You can do this in two ways. Um, well, I'll come back to one thing. You make a garbage dump. Uh, to make a garbage dump, we first need to make an area. To do that, press I. I is for uh, zones. And now we have something that's close to the designation order. Uh, we can make a garbage spot. This will be a garbage spot just for stones or anything we especially mark to be dumped. Um, and I'm placing it over here. And no one will. Yeah. Here in the corner should be fine. Uh, I can't use this tile anymore. Now, I press enter once, press enter twice, now this is a little zone here, as you can see it looks a bit like a stockpile. And there's like, tons of options for this zone, and I'm making this a garbage dump with, uh, with G for uh, garbage. Um, now if there's any garbage in the fort, or uh, anything marked for dumping, uh, the dwarves will take it to that tile and stack it on their cell. You can have one tile with like 20,000 stones on it and it won't be a problem um, and they'll be gone on the stockpile. So let's mark some of these stones to be hauled to the garbage dump. Uh, there's two ways to do that. Uh, you first can do it manually. You need the K button to lock around and find some of this dolomite stone. Here's one of these stones and I'm pressing F of a D for dump D appears, and uh, this stone is now marked for dumping. So with K and D, you can actually select all the stones you want for dumping. And like this, I can clear up uh, this furniture shock pile a bit. Now, this can take a long time. Fortunately, Toadie uh, knew this and actually built something to make this faster. Uh, it's a designation. Press D for designations, then uh, B for build, set building item properties, and here's the dump option, D. Well, uh, this will be a furniture stock for year 2. Let's dump all of this. Problem is, there are some barrels in here, and some gems which I don't want dumped. So, I'm going to remove the dump, which capital D, for these few items. And this is just enter, enter again. And that's the way the dumping works. Now, if we wait a while, some dwarves will come along and actually move all the stones. This might take a while. Uh, the dwarves are all busy with their own tasks. The mines are digging. Uh, the is doing this. And Cloud is actually dumping an item. Let's go down, and you see, he took a stone from here, placed it over here. Same with this guy, They're moving the stones from the stockpile to here. And now the stockpile will have much more stone in it, and you can in fact use it. Also, let's see how things are working up here. She's still building the brewing drinks. And yeah, that will take a while, but now we're actually making booze for our dwarves, so all the dwarves, the dwarves will stay happy, we have beds for them, we have a dining room, we have all they want. And um, yeah, time's running out, so uh, let's shut it off, uh, this episode. Um, in the next episode we'll actually start making a little home for the dwarves, giving them their own rooms, because this is one big sleeping barracks, you'd want your own room. And in the next episode, we'll start doing that. So, that's it for now. Um, hope you've learned something from this. And see you in the next episode. Later, guys.